My name is Anthony Soriano. I live in McAllen, Texas. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. I uh, moved here via Miami, Florida. Uh, McAllen's where I call home. I actually came down here for a wedding, and um, to be quite honest with you, my life wasn't uh, the greatest in Miami. Uh, in Miami, I was doing a lot of drugs. I was actually um, crystal meth, um, addicted to crystal meth. I was injecting crystal meth five times a day, um, living in complete sin. Um, I was living a homosexual life and just destroying my life and thinking that this was going to be the best thing for me. Um, so I came down for a wedding and it was, I just had this complete uh, moment of freedom that just a weight was lifted off of my shoulders. And so I decided to stay. I had a job within five days and was moving back down here. Um, a week later. When I had first moved down here, two weeks after living here, I uh, wound up in the hospital, collapsed my lungs, was pronounced dead on the table for about three minutes. Um, and pretty much when I woke up, um, Rebecca was standing beside me and we began to talk and you know, she began to share the Lord with me and um, she just had a way about her that just explained so much that was, it was so gentle but yet, this is what you need to do. Um, so I returned back to work and she and I got, became a little closer. She planted that seed and just allowed it to be watered by the Lord. And, uh, and it did. Logos is my, is my home. And Call it weird or not, but um, my body was on fire. Um, I felt I started sweating profusely and my body was on fire and then all of a sudden there was this calm within my soul um, and I just, I just had an amazing feeling and I said to myself, I said to the Lord, I said, this is you and this is who you've called me to be. So here I am. When I went to home that, that night actually, um, fall on my face and just thank the Lord for giving me a life, giving a life back to me that He has always called me to, to live. Um, a life that He had predestined for me, uh, a life and a plan that He had for me all along. And I just realized that at that moment, my life was not my own. My life belongs to Him who gave it to me. No, it wasn't working for me. My way was, I've heard it so many times in Logos, you know, is your way working for you? Let me know how it's working. Um, and I just handed the wheel over to him. I said, Lord, just take it. Um, and every morning I wake up and I just say, yes, Lord. Or what do you want from me today, Lord? Right now, I currently serve at Logos in, in many different capacities. Um, first and foremost, I serve everybody that walks through that church um, like a guest in my home. I'm Italian, you gotta do it. Um, so everybody's a guest in my home, but um, right now I lead Interactive Team, which is made up of hospitality, welcoming, ushering, and, um, and connections. Um, I have a wonderful team that I work alongside with that allows me to serve them and just glorify the Lord in doing so. Um, on Tuesday nights, I lead a community group as a matter of fact, I, I was busted by the FBI, and now I sit and lead a community group with an FBI agent in it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's pretty ironic. I looked up and I was just like, Lord, you, you're joking with me today, aren't you? That is so. awesome. Amen. Amen. All right, brother.